Hello everyone, welcome back to Azure SQL Mastery and in this video, I will show you how you can customize your workspace based on your requirement. For example, you want to change the color of this workspace or you want to change the font size or you want to change the keyboard shortcut or you want to work in a Zen mode, then you can customize entire workspace based on your preferences. So let's get started. First, I want to change the color of this my workspace. For that, you have to type Ctrl Shift P and type color theme. So you can change the color. So let's say right now I am in the light Azure Data Studio. You can go with the any theme based on your likes. Okay. So I always work in a light Azure Data Studio. I have seen most of the developer prefers a dark Azure Data Studio. Now I want to change the font size. How you can do it? So for that again type the Ctrl Shift P and type open user settings. Here, there are a lot of options are there. Okay, but I especially I am looking for a font. So let's type font. Let me split the window. Okay, great. Now, let me change the font. So let's right now the font size is 35. I want to go with 50 and see here. Okay, no, let's say I want to go with the 25. So based on your preference, again, you can change the font size. Similarly, you can change the cursor style. So right now, by default, it's a line. Okay. But if you want to change your cursor style, then you go here and change based on your preference. So block or maybe block outline. So I always uh, go with the default setting, but it's again, it's up to you. Okay, now I want to change the keyboard setting. For that, you have to type Ctrl Shift P and type keyboard settings. So open keyboard shortcuts. Okay, now here for the cancel query, right now the shortcut is Shift A. Now I want to change with the Shift C. Then you can just double click on the line and type whatever the shortcut you want. So I want a shift C and click on enter. So now any running query, I want to cancel it with a keyboard shortcut. I have to type shift C. So let's do it. So here there is one query and I want to run this query thousand times. So I am starting it and now I want to cancel. I am going to type shift C. So now it's cancel. Okay. So now this keyboard shortcuts again, you can change based on your preference. So I hope you like this video. See you in the next video.